Hello friends. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Carnot cycle for steady flow system. As we know about the Carnot cycle, it is ideal reversible cycle and steady flow system we consider as an open system. <music> start the discussion of Carnot cycle for a steady flow process or we can say open system. So in open system the fluid will continuously flow and the process we considered as a steady process so that is why it is called steady flow process. Flow will be steady. So here we are considering four devices. One heat exchanger second heat exchanger, one turbine and one pump. So here these four devices are connected to each other and one heat exchanger is connected with one source which is at a particular temperature and that source will transfer heat to the heat exchanger. And another heat exchanger which is at other temperature, it will transfer or it will reject the heat to the other source or we can say sink. So here this is our open system or this is our steady flow process. Basically this process is what you have to consider this as a steady flow process and here you can see this dash line. So this is called the system boundary. So here this particular Carnot cycle is also divided in four processes. Two reversible isothermal processes and two reversible adiabatic processes. So here this is the combination of four processes. So two reversible isothermal, one will be heat addition and other will be heat rejection and reversible adiabatic process, one will be work done by the system and other will be work done on the system. So here in heat exchanger the first process will be what? Heat Q1 will be transferred from source to the heat exchanger and this particular heat transfer we will consider as isothermally and reversibly at a fixed temperature that is temperature T1 in the heat exchanger. Suppose this heat exchanger we are considering as A. So from source heat addition is happening. So which process is this? This process is representing heat addition reversibly and it will be isothermally. So this is our first process. Now the second process which we consider is work done by the system reversibly and adiabatically in turbine. So from heat exchanger this particular suppose if we are providing or this uh, heat exchanger is having some fluid and uh, the fluid is going to heat in the heat exchanger by getting this heat from the source so that Heated fluid will transfer to the turbine, turbine will rotate or turbine blades will rotate and it will convert into the work and that work we can transfer to other devices. Suppose if we are going to transfer this work to the generator, so generator will work on the basis of this turbine work. So this is what? So work done by the system we will consider. Work done on the system we will consider on generator but this work is transferring by the turbine so work done by the system. So it will be work done by the system. So work done by the system reversibly and adiabatically in turbine. Now the remaining heat or remaining working fluid which is in heated condition which is unused so it will transfer to the heat exchanger. So initially the temperature was T1 and then the heat will reduce and uh, in that case the temperature will reduce and uh, the temperature in the form of T2 will transfer to the heat exchanger and from this heat exchanger that 
amount of heat will transfer to another sink for another use so here what is happening here we are considering heat rejection and this heat rejection is happening reversibly and isothermally so heat q2 will transfer from system reversibly and isothermally at temperature t2 in heat exchanger so this is a third process now from this particular part the working fluid will transfer to the pump with temperature t2 and here if we want to run the pump so we have to do work on this so it will be defined as work done on the system work done on the system so work done and that work done will be defined as wp here it is wt or we or here wp or wc whatever whichever abbreviation you want to define you can take so wp is represented as pump work it is represented as pump work so work wp done upon the system and it will be reversibly and adiabatically by the pump so here our fourth process is we are defining with the help of pump work so how many processes are there heat addition and it will be reversible and isothermally so reversible heat addition reversible isothermal process then work done by the system so it will be reversible adiabatic process and then work done by the system that is defined as pump work and heat rejected by the heat exchanger so it will be reversible isothermal heat rejection so it is a combination of four process now one point you have to remember here there must not be any kind of friction and heat transfer in the pipeline through which the working fluid is flowing that pipeline should be frictionless and it should be adiabatic no heat transfer should be considerable in the pipeline where the working fluid is flowing because it can change the temperature of the working fluid during the complete working so it can affect the efficiency of the system so this is about the carnot cycle of steady flow system where four processes we are considering same processes are there only the process is steady flow for the open system so it will be reversible isothermal heat addition reversible isothermal heat rejection and reversible adiabatic work done by the system and reversible adiabatic work done on the system so expansion work and pump work so these four processes are representing the carnot cycle thank you so much